breathe new commercial life into two of its popular scenic locations on the west and east coast. Ryan Broom has the story. The Commission recently put out two tenders for operation of restaurant facilities at Barclays Park, Ermibourne Highway, St. Andrew and Folkestone Park, St. James. Acting General Manager of the Commission, Michael Thompson, tells the business report that the move is aimed at enhancing Barbados's tourism product while also providing additional revenue for the Commission. He says the Commission's aim at the end of the tendering process is to have both restaurants operational at the earliest by the start of the next financial year in April 2015. The tender submission deadline is January 9, 2015. Mr. Thompson says a new building was constructed by NCC workers at Barclays Park to house a restaurant, but there's already a building at Folkestone which previously housed the restaurant. Under the proposed arrangement, the successful parties will rent the facilities from the NCC. Meanwhile, he says both Folkestone and Barclays Park continue to be popular spots for locals and visitors alike. He also lauded the redevelopment work at Folkestone, which has helped to transform the beach and surrounding areas. Ryan Broom, CBC News. Digicel's business arm, Digicel Business Solutions, is recording significant growth and profitability. This from Martin Keogh, Business Solutions Director for Digicel in the Eastern Caribbean. He made the comment during a special appreciation event for Partners Blackberry at the Lone Star Restaurant. Three years on from the introduction of Digicel Business, we have now employ more than 350 people here in the Caribbean. That, pro that figure is due to exceed 500 within the next 12 months. We have actually broken now 100 million US dollars of uh, recurring revenue uh, that is uh, travelling through this side of our business. And again, the growth figure across the Caribbean has reached 100% for the last two years in a row. In Barbados, we have actually achieved 250% in the last 12 months. Um, due to some phenomenal uh, successes that we've had across the board and it diversi diversified from government, finance, um, right down to small uh, mom and pop shops, which we're very appreciative of. Mr. Keogh also says that staff numbers in Barbados will further grow by April next, by next April. Meanwhile, Head of Sales and Marketing for Blackberry in the Caribbean, Richard Burry, says despite the challenges globally, Barbados and the Caribbean continue to be faithful to the Blackberry brand. Nowadays, when I introduce myself, I get one of two looks, confused or concerned. The confused look is usually, Blackberry, aren't you guys out of business? <laughs> to be honest, that's usually in the United States. The Caribbean is still a stronghold for Blackberry, as is Canada and the UK. So, especially Barbados, thank you for your business. We appreciate it. Here is a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. <laughs> 